Hi guys, Dr. Berg here. I had another question from someone who asked me, you know, I'm taking minerals, Dr. Berg, but I still have leg cramps, okay? Now, when you do the ketogenic diet or intermittent fasting, sometimes you're gonna get leg cramps, and that's usually a matter of replacing or putting in more electrolytes. It's usually a calcium deficiency, magnesium, potassium, or sodium, okay? That should normally handle it. But if it doesn't, there's something else going on, and that's a vitamin E deficiency. Part of vitamin E complex, uh, which is uh, it's called the E2 fraction of the vitamin E complex in nature, has um, some great properties of improving symptoms like angina, which is chest pain, which is basically a heart that's cramping up. So it, vitamin E addresses, a certain fraction of vitamin E addresses the um, muscle itself. It increases oxygen in the muscle to prevent cramping of the heart muscle. In fact, you can increase the oxygen carrying capacity by 250%. Also, vitamin E is used in high altitude, you know, like climbing, mountain climbing, where you can actually, you just breathe better if you have enough vitamin E. So vitamin E is very important in helping the red blood cells carry oxygen and also helping the muscle um, provide enough oxygen so you don't so it doesn't cramp. Okay, so we need more vitamin E from the food that you're eating. Make sure if you're going to do an e, vitamin E supplement, it's a natural vitamin E complex, not just a synthetic fraction of one of the alpha, alpha tocopherols. You want the whole thing. Uh, so what foods are high in vitamin E? Raw greens, leafy greens and vegetables, lettuce, sunflower seeds, Make sure they're raw. Almonds, spinach, chard, cabbage, uh, kale, avocados, and asparagus, okay? Start consuming those and your cramps will go away. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press this little button down below, okay? Thanks.